Okay, so you're going to go to pixelart.com slash E, and for this project, we're just going to hit Create New. All right, we'll go down to... Uh, what do I want? Ultra HD, and click Create. Now I have a blank canvas right now. Okay? Uh, now all your tools are going to be over here. Okay, and what's kind of nice is uh, when you keep the cursor on it for a second, it gives you a little description of what it does and like a little demo. Okay? Uh, we'll, be most be, we'll mostly be using like the pen tool and the bucket tool to fill things in and uh, the wand selection and the shapes we'll be adding in shapes um, if you ever need to undo something just go back up here and click undo or control Z uh, your layers are going to be over here okay so <clears throat> Uh, when you're working on something, there's going to be lots of different layers, but you're only going to be working on one of the layers at a time. And our our uh, practice piece is going to be split up into four different layers. So layer one, I'm going to start by just making it all white as a, like a background so that I can see what my other layers look like. So I'm just going to change my color here to white and then click on the bucket tool and turn this layer all white okay I can always delete layers later if I need to this will just be my background uh, up here I'm going to add in a new layer okay now the layer that's highlighted blue is the layer that you're going to be working on okay um, my uh, layer 2 is going to be my foreground now for this, I just want you to do something really simple, okay? We're going to use the pen tool, and up here you can change what the uh, the pen looks like, okay? Now for this, I just want your pen to be uh, 0.2 or 0.3, okay? Uh, changing this makes the uh, make it be easier if you can see it's it's really big. Uh, the softness or of the, the pen is kind of going to make it fuzzy on the edges. So for this, I, I don't want any softness at all. I'm just going to be using it like a regular ballpoint pen. So I want it to be, uh, and the step down here, don't worry about that either. That, that kind of breaks it up into like dots instead. So step will be at zero, softness will be at zero, and the pen size for this right now will be two. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to be drawing my foreground, so I want this to be relatively close to the bottom, maybe like, uh, you know, 5%, um, sorry, maybe like 20% uh, from the bottom. And uh, I'm just going to be, oh, don't forget to change this over to black, so now my pen's black. You get two colors to work with over here. You get the... Uh, and the arrow that'll switch back and forth and the color that's on top is the color that you're currently using so I'm gonna start over here I'll just draw a line like this I'm gonna draw a simple tree and remember this is just a practice so it doesn't need to be amazing we're just learning how to use the uh, the software. Okay, now I got uh, my foreground, just this tree. Now the line, the black line I just drew, is not on the white page. If I hide the white page, you can see that layer two, uh, this black line I just drew, is still here. Okay, I only use that layer one so that I can see my work. Um, now I'm going to add in another layer. Okay, this is layer three. This is going to be my middle ground. Okay, in my middle ground, I want you to try to use uh, this line tool right here. Okay, 
the line tool to make some geometric shapes. All right. So, oh, you know what? I just realized that this is at a point five uh, up here, and I want to change that to two. So I'm going to click undo to get rid of my line. Change this to two. Okay. Now everything will be the same. All right. Back to my line tool. I'll add in, I'll try my best to make these horizontal and vertical. I'm just double clicking with my mouse to stop the line and start a new one. So taking my finger off stops the line and clicking it down starts a new line. If uh, if you move your cursor off the previous line, then there'll be a little bit of space, and it won't allow you to fill it in later when we use the bucket tool. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. This, uh, uh, I just, what I just did here, if you, I can use the wheel to zoom in. You can see that there's a little space right there. And when I try to use the bucket tool later, it won't fill in my shape. So I'm going to click undo and start over again. Rolling in and out with the, with the, uh, the wheel and the mouse allows you to zoom in and out. Yes. Uh, you can. You can you you can add in uh, squares if you want. What Gato is asking me is, um, let me zoom out and show you. So I'm going to hide my middle ground layer so that I can keep working behind this tree. Gato is asking if we could just use the square tool like this. You could. And then maybe add in some lines later like this, just so they connect. Uh, all I want you to do is get some geometric shapes in layer two, or in your middle ground, okay? Layer three. Sorry? Yes, when you're using these shapes, uh, the first color is going to be the outline up here, and the second color is going to be filling it in. We'll talk about that later, okay? And then finally, for my background layer, I'm going to add a new layer. And for this one, I'm just going to add in um, uh, a bunch of big, bigger buildings. <clears throat> uh, or you know what? I'm going to add in a mountain. That sounds better. So I'll go back to my line. It's at uh, 2 still. And I'm going to start down here. The one thing I don't like about this is when the cursor is on your paper, you can't see it because it's white on white. I wish it was uh, black. So I'm going to make like a um, Mount Fuji looking mountain that comes out like this. And then down like this. And this needs to go all the way across, and I'm going to put it behind my middle ground so you can't see it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so we've done our foreground, middle ground, and background. Uh, and now it's time to color them. So, my foreground, I'm going to make uh, green. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make it blue. So, 
for your three colors in your foreground, you're going to the middle ground is going to be the true color, blue. Okay, that'll be for the middle ground. Your foreground is going to be shaded, so you'll be adding black to it, like this. See how I'm getting closer to the black? And then your background will be tinted, so you'll be going this way to add white to it. Okay? And then I'll go to the bucket tool. Okay. Uh, now for my middle ground, I'm going to hide that for now. For my middle ground, I got a little bit of work to do because I made these boxes as well. My middle ground, I'm going to change my color back to the true color. And then my bucket tools there. And then I gotta fill in these boxes as well. Okay, so my middle ground is the true blue. And now I'll hide that. And then my background is going to be uh, tinted. So I'll add white to it. Add a little bit more. Okay. Oops, I just realized that I uh, was still on my layer 3, so I got to hit Control Z. Ew. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Let's move this over to layer four. There, okay. Now when I stack up my layers, I gotta make sure they're in the right order and they're not. So I can move these over. Like that. Why is it not showing up? There. Okay, so just a quick observation. Um, if you're going to use those boxes, make sure that the outline of your box is the same color that you're planning to use. Otherwise, you'll have these weird outlines inside here. Okay, and if, if I want to get rid of that, I can just go into my pen tool, uh, find the, the exact color that you want using this tool, go into your pen tool, change the size and then you can come back and erase these lines if you want if you did something like that oops oh you know what i was on the wrong layer there we go I think it'll look better without these black lines on here. Okay. All right, good. All right, so everything looks good. I'm going to start working on my sky.